Hello guys, welcome to the Mkono podcast hapo kwa Mkono Entertainment. Maneno iko wet bana. We have to talk about these things before vitu zikuwe slippery. Yeah? The way people are treating Eli to keep choke it's so pathetic. It's so bad. It's so, I feel I feel ashamed. People can go this law to start criticizing, concluding that Eliud Kipchoge is responsible for the death of El- of Kiptum. Both of them are legends. Kiptum did a very good job. He broke the record and Eliud Kipchoge broke. Both are legends. They are Kenyans. Kipchoge amekuwa hapo for a very long time representing Kenya, carrying our flag very high worldwide. And this is how we repay him, Kenyans. There is no palaver here. Plethora of people kwa social media, YouTube, TikTok where Kipchoge, Kipchoge this, Kipchoge that for Christ's sake. Let us respect Eliud Kipchoge. It's so embarrassing seeing how people kwa social media posting Eliud Kipchoge is responsible for the death of Kiptum. Let the government, let the let DCI do their job. That's what they are being paid for to be there to do. Guys, guys, come on guys. This is too much. This is too much. I feel ashamed. I feel embarrassed. It's so hurting. That guy has raised our flag so high. So high representing Kenya. This is how we repay Eli Kipchoge. Yani we are just dullards, dingbats. People are so rambunctious up on YouTube. They have forgotten everything that Eliud Kipchoge has done we had Wanjiru who was murdered may his soul rest in peace this is an accident that occurred and took a very bright bright future it's so painful to all Kenyans to worldwide and then you start judging and concluding that Eliud Kipchoge is responsible for the death of Kiptum guys it's so shaming i feel embarrassed it is a disgrace to this country we Kenyans can think that low we can have so mega minds and myopic guys people end up on youtube say everywhere why did kipchoge kill them? kill keep two guys man this must stop let us put some respect on that name eliud kipchoge is an icon keep two was an icon may his soul rest in peace let their family mourn in peace and and let us respect our legends when they are still alive being rambunctious there on youtube giving mumbo jumbo statements all over eliud kipchoge has money has fame why should he kill kiptum surely guys let us uh, let us think we have brains do you feel painful to just thinking thinking is free it is in the constitution you have freedom to think you have a right for information press the government to do investigation this year is there it is our right we need to know what what occurred what transpired if that car was tampered with let us know the government is there that is the duty of DCI to do that not you guys making medic baits for youtube just for views tarnishing the name of a legend and icon both of them are icons to accidents happen if it was god's will to take kiptum's life let his will be done we can't question god but let us respect them they are both icons legends let us treasure these people when they are still alive life is too short Let us stop making judgments. Let us stop tarnishing names of people. Kipchoge is an icon. Kiptum is an icon. Wanjiru who died who was murdered is an icon, a legend of Wanjiru. Kiptum, Kipchoge. Let us treasure these people when they are still alive. We can't continue being rambunctious, giving mumbo jumbo statements, having these palavers on social media just for for views. These are our legends, man. These people have sacrificed their lives to represent Kenya. Some people are taking citizenship to other countries. These people stayed there to represent us, to represent Kenya. We lack patriotism in Kenya. Nowadays is no they want views, they want likes, they want mumbo jumbo statements kwa 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 social media. It's so embarrassing guys, it's a disgrace to Kenya. If Kenyans can bend this law, we have to wake up as a nation. That is an accident that has occurred. Let DCI investigate and come up with the results and see if that car was tampered with and action taken from there. Let us celebrate them when they are still alive. Kipchoge is remaining. Let us celebrate him today when he is still alive also. 
and stop this palaver that is heading nowhere. It is a disgrace, guys. And then from there, we can conclude after finding evidence to prosecute someone. This guy is responsible for the death of the young man. This is how we, we celebrate our, our legends in Kenya. Record and life, you can't contrast those two. Life is so precious. Those records will be broken. He's not the last person to break that record. Kipchoge will not be the last person to break that record. Other people will come and smash that record. We are heading sub two hours. That record is going to be broken. That is the reality. So you judging someone because of a record at killing a fellow Kenyan because of a record. You guys are so dull and yeah. sad, man. Everything that Kipchoge did has been thrown to trash into oblivion. We are being oblivious of what Kipchoge did to Kenya and Kiptum did to Kenya. Let's stop this shenanigan once and for all. It's so painful who killed Kiptum. Let the government do their job and let us stop crucifying people who are innocent. Let them be proven guilty by the government. This year, you guys, you guys do your job.